Alright guys. Ugh, let's stand up. Oh no, it spooked that one right there. There's something big right there. There's a few of them. Holy smokes. Could be carp though. Alright. Let's do a long cast and just risk it all. See that? Crazy blowing up stuff. I don't I don't know what's happening, but you know, I'm throwing this there. If it wants it, they want it. They don't want it, they don't want it. You know what I'm saying? It blew up like a couple times. Look at that. See all this blowing up? That's the weirdest blow up ever. They didn't want this. See? They're, they're popping. I think they're just holding to the um, the dragonfly is ho hovering. That's what I see is happening. Holy smokes. Okay. Let me just throw it right back out there. I think there's a few right there. Oh, to the left. I saw the dragonflies and I went straight for the dragonflies. But yeah, the drag dragonflies, man, uh, damselflies. Those snakeheads love them. See, look, they, they're really trying to get that damselfly a lot. And I spooked the crap out of something right here. Two of them. Here, let me see if I can get that. Why, why don't you want this? This frog is easy. No, 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 they came, came out very quick. Oh, there's babies right there. It's gotta be a big one. See, look, he just ate that freaking dragonfly next to me, but he doesn't want my frog. Yo, when they're holding to stuff like that specifically, sometimes you gotta change the lure up. But right now, I saw babies right there. I saw stuff going around. So it could be a very big snake because it's just covering all over the place. Yeah, I, I, see, I see the baby pods and I see the, see the snake. That is, the, oh, see all those babies popping out? Those are, those are snake heads. Okay. Oh, see, look at that. Hit something, but he didn't hit my lure. Come on now, hit my lure. See, a lot of snake heads. See that? That's a big snake head. He just popping the crap out of those dragonflies. Might have to recruit my my brother over here. Double up casting. Just annoy the crap out of these. Look, look, look at those snake heads. Look, look, they're popping the crap out of. They're popping the crap out of everything else but my frog. Dave! Whoa, whoa. He just attacked me. That's one. There's still two more. All right. Spawning snakes. Woo! It took forever to get this one. Let me back up. Let me back up. Let me back up. Let me back up. All right. I'm going to let you handle that right above. Like in front, just cast a few times. You probably start seeing them. But yeah, there's. There's definitely one or two because it was blowing up all over the place. But man, this, this guy's beautiful. Look at that. That's a good filet right there. More snakehead nuggets. I'm going to air fry this. Let's go catch and cook today, guys. Let's go. All right, guys, check this out. This is a huge snakehead filet. Did an okay job with it. I got the other side in the freezer, but we're going to make some fish nuggets today. I'm going to chop this up into smaller pieces. Then I'm going to rinse it with some cold water per this instructions here. I'll pat dry with some paper towel and then let's throw it in the air fryer. I never air fried snake heads before. I've done it with other fish before, but I did use this fish fry before and I fried fish nuggets and it was pretty good right on the skillet. But today I'm gonna try it with the air fryer.
All right, guys, so we turn this on. We're gonna go to the seafood mode. Looks like 20 minutes. And was it a um, 370? Three, 330, all right. So this is gonna preheat for a little bit. And then we're gonna throw this in there for about 20 minutes. Probably less than that, because these are pretty thin stuff. I right, restart the whole thing for 20 minutes. Pop this thing open, nice and hot. Now uh, I'm actually gonna take these and throw this in because I don't wanna pour the excess uh, stuff in there. But what I wanna do is space them out. And then that should make it fry quicker too if you space it out properly. And I'm looking in here, it looks, looks pretty darn good. Look at that. All right, in it goes. See you guys in about, I'll probably come back in 10 minutes. We'll see. Snake hit on a swimming bait. Fall time, baby. It's fall time. Get on the gambler lures. Look at that. Look at him shaking. He's like, oh no, it's the Asian dude. Shake, shake, shake. Look at him shaking. All right. So guys, this is basically 12 minutes. So it looks pretty good. I'm gonna put it on a plate. Like when you air fry this thing, the outside is nice. It's supposed to be crispy too. Yeah, I can feel, I can feel the hardness outside despite using my chopsticks, but inside it's gonna be nice and juicy. So let me put this on a plate and we'll open up a few more and I'm gonna make my favorite sauce, Thai chili sauce with some sriracha, oh yeah. Hear that? Sounds pretty good. All right, let's see. Let's, let's open up another one. Let's choose this one right here. Like, listen to this. Hear that? It feels like it's hard outside, like deep fried. But inside, so white, flaky, juicy. Look at that shine. This is good. Absolutely fantastic. Let me make some sauce. My two fair sauce right here. This is the sweet chili sauce, Thai style. You can find these at Walmart or any Asian supermarket. So let's pour some of this into this plate. It looks like that. If you guys are into Chick-fil-A, this is the, basically the official Polynesian sauce. This is better than the Chick-fil-A one. Chick-fil-A one is pretty fake. But this is it, guys. It smells very good. Put some sriracha on it if you guys want to make it spicy because that bottle right there, sweet chili sauce, is really sweet. But you want a kick, you put that on there. But this fish right here with that, um, the, um, the flour, it's already seasoned, so it's a little bit spicy already. It's mainly pepper. Stir it up just like that. Mmm, so good. And you guys see me catch a snake, huh? It's basically in the mud. You know, it's in the swamps, crazy swamps. Guess what? If you guys catch bass or any sort of sunfish, that large mouth bass is gonna smell like mud. But snakehead, no matter how muddy it is, it still doesn't smell like mud. That's why snakeheads are treated as one of the best tasting fish in Asia. So while it's here in America, you guys might as well eat some. So guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. You're catching cooks with snake heads. Air frying is actually very, very good. Bon appetit.